do my story time on the time. The one time I worked at a strip club. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm May Period. Before I get into this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friend. And yeah, period. So, um, I'm doing a story time on the time. The one time I worked at a strip club. Um, while I'm telling this story, I'm be doing my hair, so don't pay me no mind. I'm trying to, I did this time real cute, real different. I like it. I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to wear it, so. And I give auntie vibes. <laughs> But anyway, so, um, uh, I was looking for work. This was like, it was like, oh, 10 years, 19 years ago. Uh, I was on Facebook Marketplace looking for a job. Y'all, if y'all know me, I love Facebook Marketplace. I find everything on Facebook Marketplace. Um, so I was looking for a job. And I didn't really care, like, what job. I just wanted some, some, you know, quick and fast money. Well, no, that's not true. Um, around that time, I was like into modeling and dancing and things like that. So, um, I think I did specifically look up like bottle girl work, things like that. So, I came across this guy or this ad um, for a club called Candy Bar, which was in Virginia. And um, so, um, I, you know, I reached out to the post and they responded quickly. And um, I set up an interview with the guy. I met the guy. I had a guy to drive out um, Virginia. My guy didn't have a car at this time. And it wasn't like over the bridge, Virginia. This this job was two hours away. Okay. So, um, so boom, I used my ex, my friend, to use her car. Y'all were great friends. She let me drive two hours. <sighs> y'all, this shit is crazy. It's crazy. I had to drive two hours just to go out there, y'all. But anyways, um, my friend let me use her car to go out there for my interview, and that I did. When I arrived, it was a very big parking lot, and um, you know, it was it was far. It was it seemed it seemed quiet. It was a McDonald's, I remember, and a furniture store, and then there's candy bar. And um, so uh, I'm I'm there, and I'm contacting them, the you know the guy who works there, let him know I'm there, and he's not there yet. So he's like, you know, he'll be there in a second, give him a few seconds. So with McDonald's, you know, trying to kill some time. And he's still not there. It's almost an hour and he gets there. Cool. Well, no, he didn't get there yet. Some girls get there. So as I see the girls standing at the front door, I get out, my, um, get out the car and I walk up. I'm like, hi, I'm here for an interview. Do you know your manager is going to be there? Be here. And they was like, yeah, they're waiting on him. Pretty much open the door because they can't get in without him. So... We're all out there waiting, and he comes like five minutes later. So, um, cool. All right, so we get in. I'm like, hello, I'm, I'm Monet. You know, I'm the one we talked to you on Facebook. I was interested in um, working as the bartender because I do, I did have, well, I do have my bartender license. I am experienced in working in the bar. So, you know, that was going to be comfortable. That would be perfect for me. It was not too much, you know. It was going to be too uncomfortable um, and that type of environment but you know that has my friends so um anyways he, he's looking at me he said i'm pretty he likes my uh he likes my look you know i got the frame that he's looking for for a bartender he asked me questions do i have an experience y'all it, it was going on really quick he asked me about an experience and things like that i was like yeah i have experience but i never worked in this type of environment but i do want to you know i used to always think about um uh, you know dancing but i want to be like an exotic dancer and y'all probably be like, what's the difference? Um, exotic dancers, they do more stuff on a pole and flips and tricks and things like that. That was what I was interested in doing. Um, not at that time, but you know, if I was to get on a pole, it would be for that. So, um, you know, he's like, all right, cool. So can you start today for like a test run? So I, um, I, had, to, I had to let him know, I had to let him know. I have to ask my friend if I can keep a car for a few hours longer. And she said yes, of course. She was so sweet. Shout out to her. And um, so I stayed out there. Um, I get behind the bar. He's showing me everything. It was a little tricky, y'all. Please excuse my on the arm. I got to see. It was a little tricky, um, because um, but there, 
Okay, so with their system from the register, okay, people need to order food. The food was the easiest part, but when it came to like the money, they don't pay with real money. They pay with like the bar bar money money. And so I used to get confused and like it was just a lot, y'all. It was a lot. I used to get confused and give the wrong money back if I'm saying that correctly. Like you you guys can catch what I'm trying to say. I used to give the wrong type of money out. Um so the day went by pretty good. Um, I didn't really run into any creeps. Uh, I was doing my training. I met some of the I met some of the dancers. They were pretty cool. It, it seemed like it was slow. Um, yeah, we it, it, it's, it was. I got there early. It's during the day, so it's really men in there. It's some men in there that's like looking for dancers. It's early as shit. Like you just wake up and one of those was still put. I was like, okay. So, um, anyways. You know, it's pretty slow in there. Um, it's a few guys coming in, getting dances from the girls, and a few guys coming to the bar. They're flirting with me. They're pretty cool. You know, in that industry, I kind of know how to, you know, I know how to be. I don't got to be all stuck up and shit. So, you know, I'm, flirting. I'm not really flirting back, but I'm like, ha ha, laughing at all. The cute shit, you know. And um, so this one man coming, these two Mexican guys, well, I'm not going to say Mexican because they could have been any type of Spanish native, but um, these two Latino guys came in and they were drunk um you're not supposed to um really serve anyone that's already like drunk and belligerent and one of the guys were but my um manager was like don't really trip too much about it just watch him so y'all um i'm talking to the one who his friend was not so drunk and you know he's flirting with me and i'm just talking to him his friend one is off and gets a stripper and me and the guys talking and we look over because all you hear is the manager saying sir you can't do that his, his his the guy the drunk guy is putting his face in one of the girls butt and going like this a lot of y'all not like he's just living and the girl is like she don't give a fuck she's dancing she's making her coins and and the man was uh you know he was yelling at her pretty much telling her that she can't do that and she knows she can't do that type of shit so that was like the only interesting thing that happened that day the next day um drive my two hours out there work a long shift um it's still not really as busy as i expected it to be i think it was just really the shifts i was working i feel like the really late night shifts will probably um be the most busiest and that's when i would leave so um it wasn't really it wasn't really you know hitting on nothing from the time i was there um i was getting more familiar with the with the cash register and the cash system so i had to tip out some girls so they the girls the girls were so cool they used to help me um this one chocolate girl, she was so cute and tall, and she was, like, really friendly. And pretty much, I gave her the wrong tip out. And she pretty much showed me exactly how, you know, how it goes in the system. I really can't remember, y'all. I'm so sorry. But um, she um, she showed me how it's supposed to go. And that really helped me, you know, get be on my A-game when it comes to other girls coming to get their tip out. Things like that. And I used to get pretty good tips, too. See, I used to get tip cash. So that's probably why it was so confusing with me. I, I didn't get no uh, stripper money or, you know, the little bar money, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. It's play money to me. It's not real money. But I got I got tipped in real cash. So, um, you know, I'm working my shift. This is like the fourth day now. And I'm, the, 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 the commute is, is getting to me. You know, it's, it takes a lot to go out there just to make, a you know, a couple change and tips and things like that. Mind you, I only got a job like that, that in that type of industry, so I can make fast money. Like, I guess I got to be a dancer to make the fast money. And, um, so I was getting tired of going out there, but, you know, that, I didn't, that didn't really stop me because I was determined, I was young, I was going to make some coins, you know? So, um, what would happen? One late shift, one, um, one of the shifts, this was my last shift, my last shift, actually, um, I was, um, what happened? A new manager had came. A different manager had came. Uh, a Latino guy. He switched it up pretty much on me. You know, everything I was taught. He said I was taught wrong and that um, I'm I'm not supposed to be doing something. He had me. He had me. He wanted me to do other stuff. Like it was just I don't know. He wanted me to be on the bar and cook because sometimes the cook will come late. But that's when the other manager would step in. But this the manager that that hired me wasn't there when the, the other manager came in so you know when he see me at the bar and no one in the back cooking he was like oh well, can you not cook some chicken like mozzarella sticks shit like that i was like well yeah i can fry some chicken so 
So he had me doing that and working the bar yard. So I was like, pretty much, I felt overworked and underpaid. And I was like, this is not for me type shit no more. So I stopped going. Um, but you know, that it was a cool experience. Um, definitely would do it again. Not at their location, somewhere closer. Um, I'm not fucking my hair up. Okay now. Um, definitely would do it again. It was definitely a hell of an experience though. Um, that was like the only strip uh, strip club I ever worked in. They, I don't know what they, how they doing, but they need, to, they need to get some more lit people in there because, you know, like I said, the time I was coming in, it was dry. You know, they had their regular customers, their regular clients that come in there, I guess, every day, but and it was like a bunch of older dudes. It was some younger dudes. It was some younger dudes. The younger dudes always came when I was leaving. Those would be the lit ones. Like it always got lit when I was leaving. So I don't know. I guess the older dudes come during the day. Yeah, y'all. I just wanted to share that experience because I mean, my cousin was talking earlier and he was talking about his joint. You know, he know that I worked at a strip club. And I was like, well shit, I used to work at a strip club. You know, I was a bar girl and I was behind the bar. I ain't had to shake my ass, but I used to wear cute ass outfits, y'all. I used to wear leggings, like these fishnet leggings with some uh, shorts and a cute tight top with a little choker around. My little uh, outfits used to be cute, and I had a wear uniform, so that was cool. Um, yeah, I would definitely do it again, though. Like I said, I gotta fix this piece of it. I would definitely do it again. It was a great experience for when I was there. And that's my hair right here. That pretty much sums that this short story. I know it probably wasn't long, sorry. I just wanted to give y'all a little something for my channel. And I really didn't have much. Um, so the commute was long. Um, the commute was two hours, like I said. That piece could become too much for me. I had to um kept putting gas in her car. Pretty much the money I was making was going back into the car. And then some days I wasn't able to go to work because she needed a car and things like that. So that was another reason why I stopped going, really. It was just more so the commute than anything. Because if it was closer, I probably still would have kept going and like played it, work, um, played it out type shit. You know? But I had to stop that, y'all. It was so much getting out there. Ever in the Virginia area, and y'all looking for hmm, a little a low key club? Candy Bar is cool. You know, check them out. Check them out, check them out. It's a different. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. I hope y'all enjoyed my video. Sorry, it's so short, y'all. I know y'all like what the fuck, bitch. Real quick, y'all, before I end my video, I just want to tell y'all that I finished my hair. And I like it. It's real cute. It's giving hmm, 27 a gram. But yeah. <laughs>